All right, so for section 1.2, we're talking about angles. So this section is all kind of about introducing the different types of angles that we see. So uh, with the first couple ones that we have, so this is numbers 1 through 3 on the 1.2 worksheet. So we are given an angle with a set measurement, and we are to classify them as acute, obtuse, right, or straight, depending on what their angle measure is. Okay, so the first one is a 45 degree angle okay so we know that any angles that have an angle measure between zero and 90 degrees will be acute angles so since 45 lies in that range this is going to be known as an acute angle next up number two we've got a angle that has a measure of 135 degrees so anything that goes between 90 degrees and 180 degrees is going to be considered an obtuse angle so because 135 lies within that range this angle is going to be known as an obtuse angle number three we are given an angle with a measure of exactly 90 degrees so we said that acute was anything between zero and 90 obtuse was anything between 90 and 180 but the only one that's going to be exactly 90 is going to be known as a right angle. So this is going to be known as right angle. Okay, so we scroll up. So now let's look at numbers 10 and 11. So we are given this picture right here. Okay, so we're given this quadrilateral, this four-sided shape that has a ton of angles that are marked in it. And we're going to look at numbers 10 and 11. So number 10 asks us to list five acute angles. Okay, so again, acute angles are going to be angles that have a measure of less than 90 degrees. Okay, so we do have a lot of values in here that are less than 90. Okay, we see 30, 40, 50, 60, 30, 70, 70, 20, 40. So we see a bunch of different values, but we need to make sure that whenever we're listing the angle that we use three points. Okay, so the two that I've listed here. So remember, you're going to have to list five in total, but the first two that I've listed are angles C, B, E. Okay, so if you follow by the letter, so C, B, E, that's going to be this 30 degree angle right here. And then the second one, angle B, C, E, remember because E is the center point, so angle B, C, E, that's going to be this 40 degree angle. Okay, so that's going to be two of our acute angles. And then number 11 asked me to list two right angles. So remember, a right angle has a degree measure of 90 degrees. So we look at this picture. We do have one that is um, definitely 90. It says it outright. So this is angle A, B, E. That's how we make this angle. But we still need to find, figure out another one. So if we're looking for something that is going to E, it's going to be 90 degrees, but we don't have anything that is just 90 degrees by itself. So let's think about if we combine two angles. OK, so then we have a couple options. So the one that I listed was angle B, C, D. So let's look. Angle B, C, D. So that's going to cover both of these angles right here, this 40 and this 50. And if we add 40 and 50 degrees together, we're going to get 90. So that's why angle B, C, D right here is also going to be a right angle. 